Welcome to another Bump by video and my name is Art and here is a car we definitely need to check out. It's a Pajero Penin and let's see that car a little bit more up close. <laughs> no, this can't be real. You can't make up this sh if you really wanted to. Yeah, the teaser already set the tone for today's video and I found this totally bizarre Mitsubishi Pajero Penin in my hometown. And you really can't come up with this if you really wanted to. But more on that later. I'll first dive into the Pajero history and, if you haven't figured it out already, explain why this is so funny to begin with. And of course I'll give a bit of context around the dealership name and photos and videos of that amazing Pajero. Mitsubishi named the Pajero after the South American Pampas Cat. The Latin name for the Pampas Cat is Leopardus Pajeros, which Mitsubishi then shortened to Pajero. The pronunciation of Pajero differs per country, so let's quickly see how each and every country pronounces this. Pajero. Toughness 4WD is Mitsubishi. Der Pajero. Dynamischer denn je auf der Straße des Erfolgs und des Fortschritts. Mitsubishi Pajero Fu. The new direct injection diesel Mitsubishi Pajero has just been launched. Nou, dan zeg ik in ieder geval niet: koop een Mitsubishi Pajero. The old Mitsubishi Shogun earned itself a fine reputation as the best mid-range off-roader you could buy. Donde te lleva un Montero? No llega nadie. Wait, what? Shogun? Montero? What Mitsubishi didn't realize was the true meaning of Pajero in Spanish. In Spanish slang, Pajero, pronounced as Pajero, it means wanker. To fix this small mistake, Mitsubishi sold the Pajero under a different name in Spanish-speaking countries or countries with a large Spanish-speaking population. The Mitsubishi Pajero replaced the Mitsubishi Jeep delivery wagon in 1982, but it iterated through many other forms including the Pajero Pinin I'm showing today. The Pajero Pinin has an interesting story as well. Mitsubishi started a strategic alliance with Pininfarina in 1996 to have them build low volume Mitsubishi cars. A completely new factory was created in Baro near Turin and production started in 1997 with the Pajero Pinin. The Pajero Pinin was first launched in early 1998 in Japan and marketed as the Pajero IO. In the rest of the world, the Pajero Pinin was sold from the end of 1999 onwards. In Europe, the Pajero Pinin was named after Pininfarina to honor who built them, but not who designed them. Pininfarina was also allowed to make a design study for the 1998 Geneva Motor Show, and they also enhanced the Japanese five-door Pinin IO Sorento with Pampas Cat print seats. The Pajero Pinin is a mini SUV and slightly larger than the Suzuki Jimny, so it's definitely the cutest of all Pajeros. Coming back to that Pinin that I spotted, it's a 2004 Pajero Pinin, but the license plate indicates it has been imported somewhere in 2020. It probably has been imported from Belgium as this country is located next to the Netherlands and a great source for second-hand cars. The engine under the bonnet is the 4G93 double overhead cam GDI with direct gasoline injection that powered most of these cars. This Pajero Pinin resides quite close to my house, but I never encountered it as it's parked off the street most of the time. By pure chance, during one of my lockdown strolls I encountered it and I was just flabbergasted by that car dealership name. A wanker car sold by a cock. about that car dealership who sold this Pajero Penin. The Kok or Kok is a common surname in the Netherlands and Belgium. In the 1990s, the Netherlands even had a prime minister called Wim Kok. And the name means cook in English. The spelling with K-O-K -K is more common in the Netherlands and with C-O-C-K more common in Belgium. A Dutch crime writer named one of his detectives De Kok. Well, I was the Kok. That's C-O-C-K, that's my colleague Fredde. And the cock with C-O-C-K is actually a running gag in both the book and its TV spin-off. So this Belgian car dealership is called Garage de Kok, 
and it specialized in Mitsubishis and not in crime. I really wonder how often they get English and Spanish speaking customers that are complaining about their naming and selling Pajeros. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this cocktail of car trivia today and more videos are coming up. So I hope to see you soon. Pump it, girl. Are you?